Hello everyone, happy Monday. It's Nargis Nuramvali here, founder and CEO of executivespeak.com with another tip video. And today I wanted to talk about how vulnerability is actually a strength. Now we all know this, we've heard it in the TED Talks and there are books about this, but I think particularly when you're speaking, communicating, any kind of presentation, remember that when you can be vulnerable in a measured way with a specific purpose, it's actually a strength. It's like doing biceps for your uh, exercises for your biceps. Vulnerability is an exercise that strengthens your mental toughness muscle. So for example, today I had my first coffee in person with a colleague who's not in my household in over 18 months. I've not had coffee meetings at all, all that time. And I can tell you, I was more than a little nervous. So I get there meeting my friend, Steve. Hi, Steve. And we're having coffee and it's great. And I did admit to him, you know, I've been nervous about this. It's my first coffee with a colleague, first coffee meeting in a really long time. And he was very kind and understanding about it, as I would expect. But my point of it is that I shared it with him. I was vulnerable because I believe that's important when you're communicating with people. Because it builds a better relationship and it humanizes the communication. And remember, we've all been going through so much in this time. We really have. Life has been hard. It continues to be hard. Continues to be a struggle. I think it's so important that we all learn to be vulnerable with each other and be real, be authentic, because I think that's what communication and teams are really craving right now. They're craving that authentic, human, vulnerable way of communicating because it forges a much stronger connection with people. You don't have to impress anyone. You don't have to go out of your way to, oh, I'm amazing, look at me. No, you can be yourself. Be true to who you are. Communicate from a place of authenticity and truth and vulnerability. And you will see it'll make you more confident and stronger mentally. Because I know it's done that for me. I know it has, and I know it can do that for you too. So your exercise, Action item for this week is to think about how you can be more vulnerable and authentic in the way that you communicate in a measured way, baby steps, right? And see how it impacts your relationships and your connections. Always remember, I love hearing from you. So please like, comment and share if you appreciated this video and keep in touch with me. Have an amazing, safe and productive week and I will see you again soon. Bye.